Hi everyone, Jim from Javelin here with a SolidWorks Tech Tip. So I'm going to sketch this rectangle. And you know what, I'm also going to drop in uh, a couple of circles. Let's make them concentric to one another. And I'm going to fix the, uh, the midpoint of that. And let's give them some dimensions. So let's make that uh, 90. Say. Okay, so nothing unusual here. Um, I'm going to take this this top line of my uh, of my sketch here, and let's close that. I'm going to take this top line of my sketch here, and I'm going to move it up to make the rectangle a little bit more square-like. What? What just happened there? Uh, let's undo that and try it again. Oops. So I take my line, and I drag it up. But what's going on here? I would have expected these two lines to uh, to move up. Oh man, somebody was on my system earlier today and they must have played with my settings and now my SolidWorks isn't working the same way as it was before. Let's try moving some of these other things. So I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to move it. What? Okay, moved entities have relations that involve other entities. Would you like to delete these relations? Um, let's say yes. That's weird. So my sketch is behaving quite unusually. Um, I also notice that moving the circle should have, by dragging on the circle, it should have changed the diameter of that circle. I wouldn't, wasn't expecting, I'm not holding down on any, key, any keys on my keyboard or anything like that. Um, so my SolidWorks sketch is behaving quite unusually. That's due to a setting. If I go to Tools, Sketch Settings, it's called No Solve Mode. So you'll notice it's turned on right now. That allows me to move um, sketch entities Without affecting, uh, without affecting other sketch entities. So you'll notice that I'm dragging the circle. It's not, it's not changing the size of the circle. I can drag this one. It's whoops. I can drag the, the circle itself, and it's not. In spite of the fact that I had both of these concentric, it's not keeping them concentric. Oh, incidentally, um, earlier when I dragged this and it asked me whether or not I want to delete these relations, if I said no, then it makes a copy. That's interesting. Okay, so if I want it to behave like I'm used to it, like I'm used to it behaving, um, let's turn that setting off. So I go to Tools, uh, Sketch Settings, No Solve Mode. So now when I drag this, you can see I'm, I'm dragging the circle just as I did before, but it's changing the diameter of it. I can't drag that one. If I drag this one, again, it changes the diameter. Um, let's move this back onto there. Merge these two endpoints. And now if I drag this top line, it moves up and down. This is how I was expecting it to move in the beginning. Um, there's another setting that can control this, or that can exhibit similar behaviors, at least with respect to the rectangle. So if I go to Tools, Sketch Tools again, it's called Detach Segment on Drag. This is very similar in that when I drag that top line, it gets detached. However, if I, if I take my circle and I try, I try moving, say, this, this smaller circle here, which has a fixed uh, relation and it's, and it's uh, concentric to that outside circle, you'll notice I can't move those. So the sketch relations are still being respected with this mode. 